Hi everyone, this is the walkthrough for the January 28th gas called Expert in a Dying Field. This is by Bill Murphy, and it is a palindrome Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some lines in the grid, and these must form palindromes, which means they must read the same in either direction. So we could have something like 1, 2, 2, 1. That reads the same whether I start here, one, two, two, one, or start here, one. And those are the rules. So for palindrome, you're basically going to have clone cells. So these two digits, whatever they are, have to be the same. These two have to be the same, etc. Coloring is often helpful with palindrome puzzles. Um, just an example of the sort of coloring that you can do. These are the same. They're green, let's say. These are also the same, and they're not green, so we're going to color them purple. And these are the same, but they're not green or purple in this box, so we'll color them orange. And these are the same, but they're not green, purple, or orange, so we'll color them blue. And so we know that these are all different digits, and therefore these are all different digits. Now, we're not going to go to that extreme with the coloring for this puzzle, but when I solved it, I did find it very helpful to do even an odd color. So I am going to do that. So we have four given even digits, and those are all of the even digits. So that means the rest of the cells in the box have to be odd. And in fact, we can see that we have a 1 and 9 looking in. Where do 1 and 9 go in this box? They can only go in these cells. We have 3 and 7 that we have to place in this box. They can only go in these cells. So that gives us some more odd digits, even if we don't know specifically which digit goes in these cells. And now in row 5, we have all of our odd digits. So these are even. And two of these cells are on palindromes. So this is the same as this. So if this is even, this is also even. This is even, so this is also even. We have the same thing in column 5, where you have 5 odd digits, so all of the rest of them are even. And all of these are on palindromes. So this one is the same as this one, which must be even. This is the same as this, must be even. This is the same as this, and this is the same as this. So we've gotten a lot of even digits on palindromes. And now, in some of the boxes and rows, we have all of our even digits. So in this box, we have all four even digits. The rest of them have to be odd. And if these are all odd, well, this is the same as this, and this is the same as this. We also have our four even digits in box six, so these are all odd. This means this is odd, and this means this is odd. Okay, where else can we look? Might be time to do a little Sudoku. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, Sudoku. These two digits. They can't be one because of the box. They also can't be three or seven. Obviously, this one can't be three in the column. But this one also can't be 3 because it's the same as this. So you can look at it from these. These all seem 1. So that's probably This is just how I saw it. Saw this. So the only thing these can be is 5 and 9. Well, there's a 9 over here. So this one has to be 5. And this one has to be 9. Wrong mode. And now the 3 looks in. This is a 7. And this is a 3. And you could see all of that without the coloring, but the coloring makes it a lot more apparent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mark these. These are all from 4 and 8. So these two are the same. This cell is either 2 or 6. Um, this cell can only be 6 or 8, so this is also 6 or 8. It's going to be anything right now. Uh, the 9 looks into the central box. This is 1 and 9. These are going to be 3 and 7. We have a 
seven down here. These are one and five. So these are also one and five. The one here tells us the order. Five, one, one, five. This is two or six. The, these two uh, palindrome cells are two and four. Okay, uh, we can do a little more coloring now. And I'm gonna look at box nine and box one. We'll do box nine first, since I'm already down here. Um, these two cells, C, one, three, five, seven, and nine. So they must be even. Up here, these two cells, C, one, three, five, seven, and nine in the box. These must be. So we know one of these is nine. We know one of these is one. We also know this is not 1, this is going to be even. We know this is not 9, so this is going to be even. A little more coloring. All right, what about this? This also sees 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so it is even. And its friend on the palindrome is also even as a result. Down here we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. This is even. So this is even. And now in box 2 we have all of our even digits. So these are all odd. And this cell is on the palindrome, so that one is also odd. Down here we have all of the even digits. These are all odd. And this one is odd because of the palindrome. It's going to give all of the odd digits in row 3. So these are even. These are even, this is not 1, so this is, and this is 1 in this box. Color those. Down here we have all of the odds in row 7, so this is not our 9, this is our 9. This is also 9. That's also 9. These are going to be even. Okay, we need 359 in these cells. This one is not 9. We need 1, 5, and 7 in these cells. And this one is not 1. Uh, this is also not 7, though, because of palindrome. This is our 5. These are not 5. At least 9 is the last odd. And now we need a 3 in the top row. We have a 3 down here. So this has to be our 3. This is even. That gives four evens in the column. So this is odd, and it is seven. This is even. Uh, this cell can't be three. So it is five, just like up here. These are not five. In fact, we know the order three and nine. The three gives us seven and three, which gives seven and one. And this is seven. This is not 7. I did that backwards. 7 gives us 1 and 7. This is 1 to complete the box and to complete the column. We need a 3 in this box, or in the row, sorry. This has to be 3 in the box as well. And we need a 7 in the row. It has to go here. So this side. And now we have totally finished coloring. We've also finished all the odd digits in the process. So now we can focus on the even digits. And let's look here. We've got 6, 8, and this is also going to be from 6 and 8. This is going to be from 2 and 6 because of this palindrome. This is also going to be from 2 and 6 because of this palindrome. So this pair looks into this box and becomes a pair. That's going to place 8 and 4, and they are on the palindrome. The 4 gives us 8 on this palindrome, which makes this a 4 on this palindrome, makes this a 6 on this one, makes this 2, makes this 6, makes this 2. Need 8 in the row. We need 6 and 4 in the box, disambiguated by that. This is a 2. We need an 8 in the column, so it has to go here. The 2, this is 6 and 4. This is 6, 2 to finish the row, 4 to finish the box, 8 to finish this box. We need a 4, 
a 6, a 2, and an 8. And that is how you solve expert in a dying cube.